couple of days ago, I put a picture of a unidentified phone on my community tab. Uh, the community tab is when you go to someone's channel and you look at community, it'll go there. Or if you're on your mobile phone, it just comes up in your subscription feed. No one can figure out what this phone was. What I didn't tell anyone is that it's a $99 3G only phone. And I've been using it for like a week. Boy, I can't wait to tell you about this. And you know what? I'm going to tell you all about it right after this. This, this is, uh, you know you listen to, to Travis. What up, players? Welcome back. And for all you new people, welcome. My name's Travis and I do tech videos every single week and have a blast doing them. If that sounds like fun to you, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Anything I talk about will be in the description below. But for now, let's just get into the video. So as I mentioned, the Galaxy Fold was supposed to come out, so I had a whole bunch of ideas for making Galaxy Fold videos. And since I got delayed, I'm, I'm doing things like this. This is, this is kind of terrible. I decided to go find what essentially is a $99 3G only phone. And let me tell you why I got a 3G only phone. I can't remember if it was on a live stream or in a comment section. Uh, someone from another country had mentioned that in their country, 4G isn't even a standard, let alone 5G coming up. And they said 3G is what everyone uses there. So I figured it'd be interesting to take an unlocked 3G phone, run it on a 3G here in America, and see what that experience is like. I haven't used 3G in, ooh, that's a long time. So I wanted to start with a budget phone. I didn't want to spend a whole bunch of money. I wanted to keep it under $100, 3G only, to lock me into that speed, and something that someone would likely buy. And one of the popular brands on Amazon is Blue, B-L-U. They sell a bunch of budget Android phones. This one's the uh, Blue Studio Mega, I think is what it's called. It's got a like six inch screen or whatever. Listen, here's the thing. I got it because the screen was big enough, it was inexpensive and it looked really cool. And you know, there's aspects of it that are. For example, this screen is actually really nice. Like the colors on it are vibrant. It's super clear. That part actually surprised me. I thought that they would skimp on the screen. That's one of the only things they didn't skimp on. It's got 16 gigs of inst internal storage um, and eight, <laughs> eight megapixel back camera. I, it's, it's gonna get bad. Uh, 720p screen, which again, actually is probably my favorite thing about this thing because it is actually really clear for a 720p screen. I was really, really impressed by that. Um, and one gigabyte of RAM. That, that's a problem. Now, I think that there's a bunch of phones out there that have way too much RAM. Like it's completely unreasonable. A lot of these phones out there now have more RAM than most people's PCs. You don't need that much RAM. But you need more than one gigabyte, let me tell you. Listen, I would even tell you what the battery size is, but you don't, it won't matter. You're not getting through a day. I mean, not really. The fingerprint sensor on the back actually does work pretty good. It's fairly fast. I mean, I mean, there's nothing about this phone that's fast. I'm just gonna, listen, I'm just gonna say this. I went into this thinking that 3G was gonna be the part of this that was gonna be painful, what it was gonna be like. Uh, that I wouldn't be able to download apps and all this other stuff. And while that was more difficult than on 4G LTE, um, some of the speeds actually weren't that bad. There were sections around the uh, around my uh, town that were somewhere in the three to four megabits down, which is low. But when you're talking about downloading apps and stuff, it's not that bad. The upload speeds were not good enough to like stream anything on. If I wanted to live stream, you, that wasn't gonna happen. But the real problem with this thing was the RAM and the processor. The most disappointing thing about this phone is the performance. You know, I'm gonna show you a little bit of the camera too, cause that's another disappointing thing. I mean, this thing is straight up uh, and it doesn't look good. It's just, it's not good. It's, it's not good. Listen, in a lot of ways, I, I could show you like all the sides and all the cool B-roll shot. I'm not even gonna do that. It's not worth it. Here's the other thing. The micro USB charging is on the top, right across from the, the headphone jack. I mean, it's glad, I'm glad it has a headphone jack. But when have you seen a, a charging port on the top of the phone? They just have two speakers on the bottom, so I guess that's the reason they did it? I'm gonna be real honest with you. Again, I really thought that this was gonna be a review about what it's like to live on 3G. Th living on 3G is terrible, but it's nowhere near as bad as living with this thing. I even shot a YouTube story. If you follow me on YouTube, obviously, you can see when I post a story, and it wouldn't even do that properly. Like, it was skipping on a lower resolution video with a front-facing camera. This thing's terrible. So I would like to be able to tell you that living on 3G is like this really difficult thing and that it's terrible. That isn't the part that really made me not like the experience. It's this phone. I need to find a 3G only phone or maybe I just need to find a better phone that I just shut off 4G. But I think it's something like this is doing a disservice to people. Let me, let me explain. 
If someone doesn't have enough money to get a 4G phone, or maybe they live in a country where there's no 4G, at least give them a phone that's gonna perform in some way, man. I mean, I feel like this is a disservice to people. You go to Blue's website, it looks all cool and spiffy, and it's got a great camera and the processor. This thing is some hot garbage. I mean, some flaming hot garbage. And Blue should be absolutely embarrassed by this. I mean, I get it, it's under 100 bucks, they're probably not making any kind of money on this then just, I mean, I don't know, shrink the size of the screen or something, give it a better processor or more RAM or something. This is an embarrassment. And you know, listen, I, I'm not even gonna hold this thing anymore. I'm at the point where I'm tired of these companies that take advantage of people that are in a specific situation, whether it be financial or maybe geographical, and give them something that looks cool, they get excited about it, and then they get crap. And as consumers, we have got to vote with our pockets. There's another particular brand that used to sell really good headphones and has decided to just skimp on everything. Not even gonna say their name, but I'm tired of it. And as a consumer of this stuff, as someone who pays money for this stuff, I'm just, I'm, I'm, ah! And you should be too. Probably no one who's watching this video is gonna buy a 3G phone anyway. I mean, maybe not. Maybe someone's looking for a review of this phone because they're thinking of buying it for maybe their grandmother or something. Don't do that unless you hate your grandmother. Android phones were never meant to be this, a hot mess of barely good enough specs to barely run anything. This thing isn't even running, the latest OS is running 8.1. It's, it's just terrible. And the pictures, like listen, if all they wanted to do is surf the net and use like, Facebook? I can't even tell you to get it for that. It's absolutely terrible. Even on Wi-Fi, you remove the 3G, it still performs terrible. I, I, this is all the more promotion I'm giving this phone. And let me tell you something. I'm not only not gonna use this phone or give it away, I'm not gonna put a link in the description for it, I don't want anyone to buy it, but I will be using it for some upcoming experiments where ultimately this thing's getting destroyed. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel for that. Because let me tell you something. This product has really upset me. I was looking for a completely different experience to be hampered by 3G, and instead, I'm hampered by the phone. So Blue, screw you. If this video helped you out in any way, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell. And if it didn't, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell. I'm here every single week having a blast. Hope to see you again real soon. Peace and love, peace and love. Let me go stomp on that thing.